Hello everyone, welcome back, Savage is here, and let's just get right into the video, I don't have anything to say right now. The next day, when Midori waked up in the morning, leaving to his school, going through the main gates before going into his support class to, well, come inside the class. He's a bit later than usual, but when he walked inside, he was surprised to see that nobody is there, only May working on her projects with Izuku said, um, May? Where is everybody? As May said, oh, you're here. Uh, too bad, classes are closed for today. As Izuku said, wait, what? What do you mean classes are closed? Yeah, it seems that someone have stole our, our projects of some of the students uh, in the support course. So Power Loader and Principal Nezu decided to close the class for today. They think that a ghost came here and took them. As Izuku said, a, a ghost? Uh, just to... A little question, which ghost does they think come exactly here? As uh, well, May said, well of course it's the ghost child, what else do you think? As Izuku said, oh, sure. As May said, well, I'm only here just because I still have my work. Sure, may class be closed for today, but I want to work on my babies. Can you help me? As Izuku said, I don't think so. Since classes are closed, I have my own things to do, so bye. As May said, oh, wait a minute, Midoriya. As Izuku said, yeah, May. Can I talk with you in private, in privacy for a bit? As Izuku said, sure, I can talk for a minute. As May just nodding before taking Midoriya a bit away, saying to him, All right, now I have a question for you. When will you gonna get the projects back, or did you just scramble them into metal chunks? As Izuku said, Um, what the hell are you talking about? As May said, Come on, I know that you're the ghost child. As Izuku said, You're not serious. I just. <laughs> Stop joking with me, May. As May said, come on, I know that you are the ghost child, always running away somewhere. Your voice is kinda similar to him. You may not look the same and you may not have a quirk, which is maybe that the reason why nobody figured it out yet. But also, it's obvious that it's you. At least for me. I mean, I work with you every morning and I see you what you doing. Besides, I can hear you mumbling to yourself about how you need to change that phrase of I guess I'll die thing. As Izuku just gulping his throat think, You do not tell anybody about this, alright May? As he said that with a high pitched voice at the same time with his eyes glowing green. With May saying, ooh, very intimidating. Is that some sort of a like when a tiger, you know, starts growling on his prey just to scare the other predator away? Or like a lion when he like, you know, show up, show out his uh, claws and teeth to scare someone away? As Izuku said, what do you mean glowing green eyes? As she said, you know, look, your eyes glowing green, more than usual at least, as she's just holding the screen of her phone for Midori to realize that, so he just shake his head and calm down before his eyes turn back normal. As she said, that, you need to be careful on that, we don't want people to see you with your eyes glowing, as easy because it's sure. Uh, as May said, so, you really are the ghost child, as Izuku said, um, fine, yes, I am, Spectra Phantom. Happy? As she said, yes, it's you. All right, show me that thing. As Izuku said, what thing? You know what I'm talking about, the thermos. I need to see it, please. Let me see it, let me see it. That thing that you used to contain ghosts in. I need to see it. As Izuku said, uh, sure, but don't break it. I barely managed to make it out of scrap metal. As she said, come on, come on, come on, please, I need to see it. As Izuku just taking his thermos out of his bag before May just grabbing it out of his hands, start examining it, saying, beautiful, shiny, so durable. You, you contain ghosts in this little thing? How big it is, so small, yet so, well, durable. This material, what is this kind of metal? I don't know any type of metal like this. As she literally starts sniffing it, saying, and it doesn't seem to have any sorts of, you know, normal electric things going through it or even fuel. What does it work on? 
because of course there is something that this works on. After all, it sucks ghosts inside, so it must have some sort of, you know, energy source. As Izuku said, yeah, the energy source is kind of me. Without any, well, ectoplasmic power, this thing is just your average thermos that you keep coffee in. As May said, oh, so you are the battery. As, well, she started examining Midoriya by touching his body in every, well, inch of it, with Izuku blushing heavily red before pushing her away, saying, hey, 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 stop it. Don't touch me, personal space, you know. As she said, your body manifests energy? What type of energy? What can you do with it? As Izuku said, listen here, mate, can you just stop this now? As May said, all right, all right, all right. But listen, how about this? I will not tell anybody about your secret. You don't need to steal people's project. I can work on some gadgets for you. How does that sound? As Izuku said, uh, sure. I could use our another hand. As May just nodding with her head saying, great. All right, I'm going to go back into my into the class and work on my own projects for you. As Izuku said, sure. Actually, you know what? I was working on something. As May said, really? What is it? Show me. As Izuku taking out his uh, ghost scanner. As she said, a ghost scanner? You, does, do you, does it help you to find ghosts with? As Izuku said, yeah, it does. I just don't know how to, well, make it work. I still working on it last night, but I failed to put the right, you know, signal. As Mace nodding with her head saying, all right, let's go fix it together, like partners. As Izuku just nodding with his head before going back into the class. And with May help and Izuku energy source and all of that, in the end, Izuku managed to activate it, and it starts showing his own uh, ectoplasmic signal. With May said, alright, if you are appearing on it, then that means any ghost will gonna appear on it. And also, I made sure that it have a big radius, so you don't need to worry. As Izuku said, thanks, May. As May said, anything for you, partner. Alright, you can go now. I'm just gonna keep working on my babies. Oh, and next day, don't forget to grab me some of that, you know, heavy metal that you use. As Izuku just nodding with his head saying, alright, I'll do it. With her nodding in happiness and Izuku just walking outside of the class. Before leaving the school, since it's just a free day. For his class, at least not the rest of the classes. But when Izuku left his school, he looked by the side of, well, he was about to go through the gate before he sees some bosses standing in front of the gate. And that class when he is just going on the bosses, seeing Bako too going into one, as Izuku coming closer saying, Uh, Bako? As Bako said, eh, What are you doing here, Deku? Today is a free day for your class. As Izuku said, Yeah, but what are you doing? As well, said, uh, we're going somewhere to do some heroes, you know, saving thingy in the USJ. It's like a rescue mission or something. Why am I telling you this? Just go buzz off or something. I have my things, don't distract me. As Bug just gone on there. Well, the boss with Izuku saying in his mind, <laughs> very Bakugo like. As Izuku just leaving the school, before finally walking inside an alleyway, Taking off his bag before throwing it in the garbage, saying, All right, a free day, nobody. Uh, and I, well, I'm sure my secret have been blown a bit, but sure, I still okay, nobody knows about me. So, as Izuku just looking up into the sky, saying, I'm going ghost then. As he just transform and starts flying up in the middle of the air, using his ghost scanner, but at the same time, kind of just enjoying his day. Basically, simply flying around Japan, like anybody would, if he was able to do what he does. As Izuku said, ah, nothing better than a nice drink that I stole from a convenience store while flying in the middle of Japan's skies. Nothing can ruin this beautiful day. As Izuku starts hearing peeping on his device, and when he look into the ghost scanner, he starts seeing, well, peeping sound as Izuku said, uh, there is a, some sort of a ectoplasmic life form going towards me in very, very fast, but before he continue, something hits him. 
chaining him into the wall, and Izuku looked to see that he got covered by a web, and said, oh, A web? Made out of ectoplasmic energy? What the? Who does use webs? As Izuku suddenly, he hears a sound saying, Hello, ghost child. As Izuku looked in front of him to see what seemed to be a flaming skull, and Midoriya said, Uh, who are you? As the person said, been long since I last see you. Was it? How long was it? Two? Three? Hundred years? Four? I'm surprised you're still alive. As Izuku said, uh, uh, I repeat myself, who are you again? <sighs> you have a nice city around. Wait, you don't remember me? As Izuku said, uh, no, never heard of you. As the guy said, ah, you know me, I'm the number one hunter in the ghost zone. As Izuku said, number what? As the guy continued saying, Skulker! Me, your arch nemesis! As Izuku said, I don't really have an arch nemesis, that's still under development. As Skulker said, you're just as idiotic and as ignorant as you would ever be. No worries. Don't just think just because you managed to close this ghost zone out of the human realm that I will gonna forget about you. You're still an old, an old prey of mine, and I'm still wanting your head above my bed. As he just pointing with his gun, with Izuku said, "I so you're a hunter. That's kind of cool. Is that an ectoplasmic gun? Does it uh, shoot about 50 bullets in seconds?" As Kalkar immediately smiles, saying, you, you recognize it? Hey, I got some upgrades. <laughs> it finally seems that my sponsors have did a good job on this armor. I upgraded myself, and there is no way that you're gonna beat me again. As Izuku said, look, I'm, you're mistaking me for someone else, but since you're the first one that throws the first punch, as Izuku facing through phasing through the wall behind of him before appearing in front of Skulker saying, then I'll gonna fight you and send you back into the hellhole that you came out of. As Skulker said, we'll see about that. Immediately, Izuku shining his eyes eyes with green with his fist glowing with ectoplasmic energy before shooting laser beams into Skulker with Skulker just holding his right hand in front of him making an, an well an ectoplasmic wall to protect him while holding his left shooting an energy blast into Midoriya with his cannon as Izuku well dodges this attack before Skulker just grabbing him by his well, Neck and just throws him into a building as Izuku slam into the building saying ah, Man, Skulker, just as always. Wait a minute, I don't know him, why am I talking like I met him before? Alright, focus Midoriya. This guy says that he's using a lot of technology, unlike other ghosts. As Skulker suddenly appear right in front of Midoriya saying, Oh, and also, I have developed the new fighting skills against you, Specifically, as uh, Skulker just grabbed Midori by his neck again before wrapping a rope around his body and fly out into the sky with Midori being dragged around by, well, the ectoplasmic rope that Skulker having on his feet. As he said, keep yourself together because this will be a very hard hit. As he spin around before throwing Midori into, well, a park. And Midori just slamming into the ground in front of a, a dog as Izuku said, Hey, a dog! I always wanted one when I was a little. As he tried to bite, well, pet it, but the dog just bite his finger and ran off with Izuku said, Ouch! Alright, time to get serious! As Skulker slammed into the ground in a very heroic pose, unlike him. And he said, You really are much more weaker than I remember you. What happened to the laser eyes, the duplication, and beside the, well, the cold breath of yours? As Izuku said, wait, I can use ice powers? As Skulker said, I don't know what happened to you, child, but whatever it is, it's going in my favor. As he immediately Skulker backs appears with a lot of cannons that shoot, well, rockets at Midoriya. And they are rockets that targets him and never misses their targets. And just as Skulker said, they never miss. And they truly did not miss. 
because Midori got hit and slammed into the ground with him biting the dust before, well, throwing out dirt out of his mouth sink. <laughs> Man, alright, I'm start really getting irritated here. As Kalkar coming in front of the ghost child saying, although I have to admit, I see that I am not the only one that got a new design change. I like your new suit. Who did design your new drip? I, it's kind of a good pajama if I would say so of myself. As Izuku said, You drip? Pajama? This is a combat suit! As Izuku starts throwing more laser beams into Skulker, with Skulker just making a, a reflecting wall which caused the laser to hit Midoriya back, with Midoriya slamming into a tree, and Skulker said, <laughs> You're much more pathetic than I could ever remember you. Almost not worth hunting. But I promised myself to see your head above my bed every morning, so... As Skulker just taking out an ectoplasmic blade, coming closer into Midori with Izuku standing up and trying to face through the ground. However, the moment that he tried to do that, suddenly some lightning rods appear all around of him, electrocuting him, causing him to fall on the ground. With Izuku said, what the... <laughs> As Kalkra said, you really think that I just attacked you with no plan? I am a hunter. I set traps first, and I did set some of some of them for you. As Izuku tried to stand up on the lightning rods, electrocute him again, with Skulker coming closer and Midori just falling on the ground, barely keeping his eyes open. As Skulker said, game over, ghost child. As Midori just losing consciousness before Skulker grabbing his body and flying away up into the sky. And after a couple of hours, when Midoriya finally opened his eyes, he find himself inside a, what seemed to be a wooden cavern, as he, well, see himself wrapped inside a chair, with Skulker looking at him saying, You're awake, finally? As when Izuku look at Skulker, he see him just making a little figure using a wood plank in his ectoplasmic blade, as when Skulker done from the figure, it seems that it's just a little wooden uh, shape of him. But Arya, as Izuku said, hey, you're designing a figure for me? As Skulker said, yeah, uh, for you, of course, as he just put it on the table before shooting it with his ectoplasmic ray, saying, I just wanted to test out my new gun. Which is really effective against you. As Izuku said, okay, you defeated me. That's something. As Midoriya said in his mind, man, am I really getting cocky? I should really stop underestimating my enemies. This ghost, sure, I may be OP against humans, but against ghosts, I'm just like any normal other person. As Skulker coming closer to him, saying, no. Who am I? As Izuku said, uh, who are you? As Kalkar said, say my name, ghost child. As Izuku said, I don't really... Well, where your name is, uh... Uh... As Kalkar said, I just told you my name a couple of hours ago, and you already forgot it. As Izuku said, well, what do you think? I'm a child, of course I forget. As Kalkar said, <laughs> You really never changed, Danny. Phantom. As Izuku said, Danny, what? As, well, Skulker said, You, Danny Phantom, the annoying piece of an invis intangible pain on my butt. As Izuku said, <laughs> Alright, that was a nice one, I like it, but still, I don't really know who the hell are you talking about. As Skulker said, You really think I'm an idiot, don't you? I am Skulker. The number one hunter in the ghost zone. As Izuku said, was that your dream to become the number one or something? Because mine is like to, was to become the symbol of peace, but you know, eight things happened and I ended up following the likes of you. As Kalkar said, keeping the old stupid ton of yours, aren't you? Fine then, as Skulker just grabbing Midoriya's chair before dragging him into his own bedroom to point on the wall above his bed saying, that is the place that I'm gonna put your head on, and here on the ground is where I'm gonna put your little pajama. As Izuku said, it's called a freaking combat suit, as Skulker said whatever you call it. 
but I just wanted to show you the places where I'm gonna put your head on. And just before we do that, first I want to see you as a human again. To laugh at your face while I am winning. As Izuku said, a eh, human? Wait, you, you know, you mean you want me to turn back? Uh, how do you think I, as Skulker said, don't play dumb with me. I know that you can't change between human and ghost. You're a half after all. Half human, half ghost. As Izuku said, uh, what? Half a what? As Skulker said, I said, come on already. Show me your... As with... Immediately, Skulker getting a knock on his door, with Skulker said, excuse me a bit, some annoyance. As Izu, well, Skulker coming in front of the door, opening it up, saying, what? As he looked to see, well, what it seemed to be just a, a high schooler. As the guy said, um, ex excuse me, Skulker. I heard a lot of sounds from your cavern, so I thought that maybe I th should come and check on you. And, and besides, can can you like give me something to stay in other than th that little shack that you gave me? It's filled with your weird weapons, and I don't. I really can't sleep by the side of your. Th you know, animals, as Skulker said, uh, you're, I told you to feed them. Uh, I know, but every time I try to feed them, they just try to eat me. Uh, it's a bit scary back with them, as Izuku, well, speaking up saying, who do you have on the door? As Skulker said, none of your problems. As suddenly the high schooler looks at Skulker said, wait, who do you have down there? That of the 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 as Skulker said, Danny Phantom. As well, the high schooler said, the half. As Skulker said, you do not tell anybody about this. This is my prey and my own revenge. You stay out of this before I feed you to my animals. As he said, uh, but you can't hide. This from everybody, Skulker. This is not very nice of you. As Skulker said, Do I look like I care about nice? <sighs> you should be happy that I am leaving you to live with me in my Iceland. As Izuku said, Wait, Iceland? What the hell do you mean, Iceland? As Skulker said, I said you shut up. I'm gonna chop your head later. I have some jobs here. As well, the high schooler said, Either way, Skulker. I'll, I'll just gonna go to feed the, the, the pets. I'll see, see you around. Uh, just please take off that one trap in front of the gate. It's kind of, you know, I always trip on it. As Kalkar said, finally getting a, a bit of a, well, clean sen sentences, but sure. <sighs> I'm not gonna do anything else. Now go back and sleep and feed my animals and also take care of my weapons, make them clean. As well, the high schooler just nodding his head before Skulker just slamming the door in front of his face. As he coming back into the house with Midori saying, All right, now let's see about. But when he look on the chair, he see Midori is nowhere. As he said, Where the. As when he look, he just see. Human Midoriya, walking through the walls as Izuku said, No wonder you didn't want me to turn back, humans. So that's it, huh? Humans in the ghost zone are like ghosts, while you here are like humans. As, well, Skulker said, Damn it, you Ronan, you're not Danny. As Izuku said, Yeah, of course I am not. Oh, and also, what's this button do? As Skulker said, no, don't press that red button by the side of the bed. As Izuku said, hmm, too late. As he just pressed on it, before the computer inside Skulker's suit speak up saying, self-destruct, initiated in 10 seconds. As Skulker said, no, 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 close, system, off, close, uh, repeat, out of, just stop, I don't need self-destruct. As Izuku said, always wondered, why does villains have self-destruct? I mean, yeah, to hide their evidence and things like that, but also it's kind of sometimes very, very not going in their favor.
as Kalkar while trying to break the system as Izuku just continue pressing on the button saying let's see how much it will gonna destroy you as Kalkar said stop pressing on the red button as Kalkar tried to grab Midori but he just walking past through him even if he doesn't mean it as Izuku said you can't even touch me <laughs> that's quite sad as immediately the computer and Skulker's suit speak up saying three seconds left as Skulker said I hate you as an explosion happened with the high schooler outside of the cavern saying what the as when the cavern the whole place destroyed Izuku looking down to see himself completely not injured not even the singular of scratches but you can say the same thing for Skulker since his whole suit got destroyed and he looks, well, small as Izuku looking through the, well, whatever left of Skulker and said, did I kill him? As Izuku hearing a sound from the suit saying, I will get to destroy you for what you did to me, ghost child. As Izuku looked to see a little green screaming thing as Izuku said, wait a minute, you're Skulker? As he said, I'm gonna hunt you. I'm Skulker, the number one hunter in the ghost zone. <laughs> I swear to God, whenever, when the next time that I see you, I'm gonna destroy you for destroying my cavern. I was uh, sure I wasn't going to leave you, but from here on out, I will gonna hunt you down. As Izuku just throwing Skulker into the endless void of the, g well, the ghost zone saying, <laughs> we'll see about that later. As Kalkar just screaming at him saying, Curse you ghost child! As Izuku said, name Spectra Phantom. Remember it well, next time I'm not gonna underestimate you. Although it will be hard knowing that you are just this small inside this giant of a suit. With Skulker just cannot be hurt from afar. Because he just flew so far that Midori throw him at. As Izuku looking through the, well whatever left over of Skulker's uh, suit to look that about what it seemed to be a glove as Izuku looking at it saying a glove as he start hacking into it to open it up seeing that the glove saying that the closest uh, ectoplasmic portal into the human world is about two kilometers away in the right direction with Izuku looking at this he's saying in his mind huh actually wait a minute where the hell am I as you're looking left and right, seeing the ghost zone, a big giant open area of nothing but giant islands and doors and other things, with him saying in his mind, this is where I throw the ghosts back into. Sheesh. Well, I mean, I can't leave them in the human world, but either way, I need to leave. As Izuku following the coordinates of Skulker's glove, which would lead him into a ghost portal that's is being supported by what it seemed to be a little device by its right side. And Izuku seeing the device is an ectoplasmic generator. As Izuku said, oh, so that's how he managed to keep the portal open. A ghost, an ectoplasmic generator of supporting the, well, he's supporting the portal with ghost energy so it stays open? That's very smart. Although I'll have to take this device from him so he doesn't find any new portals. And as Izuku shooting the, well, the thing or the generator of the ectoplasmic energy before flying through the portal saying, Ah, human world back to you again. As when Midoriya look, he just hear an explosion. And he looked down below to see that he's flying about what seemed to be a giant, well, area. Like a a giant sphere as Izuku flying inside of it to see a lot of villains that on the ground one of the teachers of UA being absolutely destroyed an all might facing against what seemed to be a giant weird bird creature with Izuku saying see that my job is not over yet is it and this one Galif it off guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, tell me what you think about this part and what do you think will gonna happen in the next part. Well I have nothing more to say than Savage was here.